guys who are watching on YouTube, um, the Twitch link is in the description. Come join the Twitch. We're live basically every week. Um, yeah, man, just come join and follow. And yeah, let's 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 get into the video. Let's get into the video. Bro, this is a very cinematic. Very cinematic. Exactly. Join up. Join up. I think Declan shot this too. Remember I was broke, but I was Super 8 millimeter. Yes. Good, good shout, bro. Good shout. Shout out to my boy M's in the chat right now. Yo, what's going on, guys? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick little Super 16, Super 8 millimeter effect um, that we saw in the video just now. I'm gonna do this all within DaVinci Resolve using Dehancer, which you can pick up from the Dehancer store. We use my, using my code. Using my code. Hey, using my code BXPK for 10% off. I'm just gonna get some footage, some sample footage. Uh, I mess with this footage, yeah. Let me get this footage, don't change. So, here we go. I'm gonna bring this in, cut it down to where I want it to be. I kind of like where the city lights are. We can kind of see like the buildings, I really like that. So I'm gonna cut it down like this. This is all inside the venture as well, as well. And then I'll cut it around there. And then you can either add the Hansa straight to, um, straight to this, to a, straight to the clip or to an adjustment layer. Then we add the handsaw, the handsaw pro. There we go, instantly we see a cool little effect. So just copy my sort of, this, this sort of look if you want to create a similar sort of look to what we saw, you know, as a, um, in, the, in the video. So um, I shot this, I can't remember, I can't remember what, um, I, didn't, I don't think we even shot this on a profile. Um, we just shot this kind of flat, so I'm just gonna click Rec 709. Natural here, I won't have, I won't ch choose a camera. Even though we shot this on a Sony, I won't choose a camera in this case. Um, we're gonna want to bring the exposure about here. We're gonna want to make it very warm. Super 8 is usually warm, and then the tint fairly towards green. Uh, let, let me bring the exposure a bit back up. Uh, so before and after. Uh, then I, I I love this this sort of standard Kodak Vision 250D. I feel like it's a good it's a good it's a good it's just a good starting point uh, when using the handsaw. Then I'm gonna bring the black point. Um, then I'm gonna wanna you're gonna wanna put the contrast a bit down. Put the exposure a bit down here. Saturation you're gonna wanna put it a bit down. Like this. Uh, then. Enable color head, put the tint down, cyan a bit, and put it up. Um, I want I, I want to put the temperature up a bit actually. I'm gonna lower the amount, put up the size first, and then I'll put up the um, halation. Very important, always need it in Super 8. I'm gonna amplify it first, put the local diffusion up, so we can see what we're doing. I'm actually making a difference I can see a difference so I think that's high enough put it down a bit add then bloom I'm gonna enable it obviously I'm gonna amplify it really high um, there we go the before after before after already looks really cool uh, you can obviously change this I, I, a lot more. A lot of um, Super 8 film actually looks a lot more warmer than this. Um, it looks a lot more warmer than this usually. Um, and then I got um, some. I have a Super 8 sort of uh, overlay. Thank you for watching, guys. If you if you like the video, be sure to run up the likes. I uh, appreciate all the all the love that's been coming recently. You guys, you guys seem to like the videos that we're posting, so I'm gonna keep trying my hardest uh, to just grind and just post as much as I can for you guys. One take is coming very, very soon. I appreciate everyone for the love. Uh, yeah, man, keep watching the channel, keep supporting us. I uh, appreciate everyone. Uh, and yeah, man, back to the video, back to the video. And shout out to the comments, man. Wait for the comment shout out at the end, but shout out to everyone for watching the video on that. He just made a point, super eight millimeter. That's an effect, bro. Um, it's a type of camera, innit? It's a type of film camera. Um, it's a type of it's a type of film camera. Um, where is it? Here, here. So this sort of effect emulates a camera, and like they've got like a lot of like, lot of glow going on here too. Um, for the film birds, the crew, 
Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, exactly. What M said, bro. What M said, bro. So if you use the effects, um, if you want to create like a super 8 millimeter effect, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to um, have like a glow, have like a glow with the with the red box here. Wait, um, you're going to want to have the glow with the red box here and you're going to want to um, make the camera like stutter a bit. You're going to want to add like a stutter effect um, to make it um, feel like more, more old school.